everybody. Welcome to the studio. I'm Andy. This is going to be the fastest jump start to Ableton anywhere, right? And we're going to say in under five minutes, you're going to be looping from nothing. So you want to be looping in Ableton. You want to play around. You have it, or maybe you need to go get a trial, get it, come back here, and you're ready to go. You just don't know what to do. You've never done a thing. All right, here we go. Let's do it. So, uh, but Andy, what about my audio interface stuff? Like, are you going to talk about got to have one, I'm going to assume you have an audio interface already. If you don't, go get one, come back to this spot. Once you've got one, get it connected to your computer via whatever it's supposed to connect with. Get all the drivers, downloads, apps, whatever it's supposed to have, get it all. Get fired up, make sure everything works, right? It's connected, your computer sees it, everything looks okay, then come back here, boom. Open up live, go up to live menu, hit preferences, and that's where you're going to choose your audio device your input and output device. You can see mine is set to focus right Thunderbolt for both of those because that's the driver uh, and that's the device I'm using. So once that's set, you're off to the races. Uh, by default, Ableton is going to give you this blank project. You get two MIDI tracks, two audio tracks. MIDI tracks are built with things in the computer. Uh, audio tracks are built with things out of the computer. Keep in mind, I'm simplifying tons of stuff in this. I'm only telling you exactly what you need to know to get rolling and get to playing. You can worry about the things later. So we're going to play with uh, MIDI tracks, and if, if we're fast enough, we might even add like a real bass or a real acoustic guitar or something. We're at a minute and a half, so we've got to keep moving. So uh, we'll start out with a MIDI track, right? By default, out of the box, all the settings are kind of ready to go, right? Everything's... It, Excuse me, everything's looking cool. Uh, the tempo I changed to 100 just because 120, the default's a little fast, you know. And I turned on that yellow button there with the two little circles. That's the metronome. I turned it on from off. This is default on. And, you know, from there, we get to hear that click in our head. So when I hit play on this right here, now we hear a click. So we're ready to go. We need a sound. Uh, I'm going to put my cursor, click on audio, uh, instruments, or sounds, say and type piano. Piano and keys is a option and in here, and look, all these things are in here. If you click on them, you'll hear it. Use the arrows on your keyboard to go down and sample them. Ooh, that looks kind of interesting. I'm going to click on my track to make sure I have the right one, then I'm gonna click on that thing and press enter. Boom, now my piano is hooked up. I uh, have MIDI, uh, it's all ins is what it's set to. MIDI from all ins. And so from here is where you'll see, you'll see anything connected with MIDI. Uh, if, if you don't have something connected with MIDI, you can use the uh, built-in like keyboard browser, computer MIDI keyboard. Make sure that's checked and then you can use your, your computer's keyboard. Um, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna use our MIDI keyboard. So I just have it to all ins, all channels. That means if something's connected, that you're good to go like something connected is gonna play so we're ready to loop we want to look at these circle buttons we're gonna have to do one press up here to start it one press down here to stop it or you could just like press the main stop button probably if you wanted to but let's do that we're gonna get four counts to, to intro we got one two three four two three four now I stopped that in time now we're just gonna go ahead and hit play on that again if we double click that clip we, can clip, we can see the loop is two bars. Perfect. Let's add something else. How about some bass? Go into this bass thing. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Uh, I will simply drag that onto track two, drop it. Now we have bass there. Record armed automatically for me. I'll tell you why later. So we'll start. play on this get it going let's add one more thing let's go to drums say clear hit X on the search thing let's do an 808 core kit I'm out of MIDI tracks so we're gonna just drag it and drop it in this big open space here now it's ready to go click my circle kind of still recording I'll click stop and now I'll go down in here I'll double click the clip and drag this control over to that three and now we're good to go we're a two bar clip Boom. 
So there you go, that's five minutes on the money right there. So in five minutes, you've got your audio interface connected up, your, your red Ableton's open, you got a project happening, we put a piano sound in there, we put the bass sound, we got a kit, boom. What else could you want, right? Let's uh, maybe, maybe you want, got one of these. You wanna throw some of this in there, right? We can do that. We've got audio tracks already ready to handle this. So let's go to audio track three. We want to set the external in to be whatever the input from your audio interface is. For me, it's the first one, number one. So one is chosen. Record arm is armed. We're ready to go there. Output to the master. So I should hear stuff with that. I'm going to turn my mic off to make sure that I only hear so let's see what happens. that easy that fast um, we pulled in an audio track even and so I'd say we're yeah seven minutes in 720 so you can do this stuff too don't be afraid of Ableton pull it get your demo load it up open up your copy whatever and explore all the sounds and stuff they ship it with tons of stuff and you can just start stacking loops playing with stuff and having fun I mean so like hey where do you go from here We've got a song here. You may not know it, but we do. So let's utilize some of the uh, the keyboard commands here. We'll hold down Option, and I'll duplicate this drum kit to the next scene. Uh, we have instruments in in columns, and down the rows, those are scenes, right? We can trigger each one with this play button over here. So watch this. We'll uh, we'll put the drums and the bass in this one, and the next one. We'll put uh, the drums. Well, you gotta have. We'll add the piano. But and then the next one, we'll have everything. So uh, by default, I think you get a reverb. Yep, you do. Over here, these two tracks over here, these are called returns, and uh, they're set up to have uh, delay and reverb, I guess, by default looks like maybe I added that I don't know but that's great so we can access those with these uh, knobs in the middle here which look different on this skinny track but now they look the same so a little reverb or a little delay a little delay oh my goodness nice so let's 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 do a little bit of that on what we have already we'll do a little panning some delay to that piano so it bounces around a little bit so you know just like that things are sound a little better we don't need to hear that clicking do we and you go groovy that's all great so uh, get a little reverb up on the vocal so now we've got like a song happening we could we've got a song the dogs in the chair and he thinks we're so cool Cause we got some loops going here. So we're gonna stop it, break it down. We're in a verse, 
We're in a verse. We got this thing going. It's just drums. It's just bass. We sound so fucking cool. Oh, 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 oh. we off now. We off now. Oh, oh, oh. But then there's a chorus. I mean, it's like an intro chorus, actually. It's a little more interesting. There's something coming. We trigger those off by just clicking those play buttons over there on the right that you see. And building and building and building and ready to go to a chorus. And we'll go now. Oh, yeah, that was a guitar. We'll go to the chorus. We'll go now. What do you think, Boomer? To the chorus. Oh, that's nice. Look what happened to the... Uh that thing. We've done a whole video like that. That's good. You don't really need to see me. You don't need to see me full size. So once again, that's, uh, that's it. Let me kill that reverb. Kill that reverb. Good lordy. Bring down some volume a little bit here. So we've looped in. We've We've made we've made the song out in MIDI instruments, real real instruments. We've uh, duplicated it into a song. We've done all this in 11 minutes, and I've been talking and goof around and stuff too. So that's just how easy this stuff is. You can you can totally do this. The number one thing I think that people let get in their way is that there's so many things. Don't be overwhelmed by the bazillion things in your way. Uh, just roll this video back play it again and do just those things and start subbing out your own sounds and instruments and play your own loops and like you're looping before you know it then you can worry about the other stuff right so get after it cheers see ya